know? Yep. Speaking of going anywhere, look at this thing. Sweet. I guess she wants to be up front. This is where we all die. All right, is, is um, any of this rough stuff bother you guys? Probably not with that Palomino rig. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Woo. So oh. You going that way? Going down here. Hold on. <laughs> going down is easy. It's <laughs> coming up far. Oh, there you go. That's what I tell her on the train. <laughs> Woo! Okay. Let's so see we got about four around. miles, a total of four oh, wow. miles of creek on this place. 4.1 miles of creek. There's three creeks. Boydson, which is the one next to us. Kroger, which comes down from that side. And then they both dump into what's called Flat Rock Creek. So I've just been to Boydson. Yeah, you've only been on this one. I'm gonna take you up Kroger. That way I can hike it. I don't know which one you're going. This one, you've probably hiked all through there, but you if you go through all these up here, there's a couple caves up in here. These little arrows that tell you where to go. There's three different paths, but it all dumps out at um, Baptism Pond. And I did that. I went into one of the little caves. And right now the creek's kind of low. It hasn't rained in about 10 days. So right now it's pretty much all spring water. It was supposed to rain all week. I know. It just <laughs> never came, man. Never Darn. Came. I like it when it rains at night, not during the day. Me too. Especially when you're in an RV. Oh yeah. I mean, they can get the longer you're in there, the smaller they get. Well, the beauty of having the Palomino is we get in there and we go out for a trip, and when we come back, our RV looks really big. <laughs> it's a mansion. <laughs> That's true. You know, those four opposing slides. Quite nice. All right, say a prayer. All right. All right. <laughs> I'm gonna take this route right here. Well, I think you've done that before. Thousands of times. This is my favorite part of the job, showing how beautiful this place is. I can see why. It always reminds me of how lucky we are. You know how God, how blessed God is. To God's taking really good care of us. These are going to be burnt down this fall. That's the old Boy Scout camp there? No, these are cabins. Boy, I'll show you the Boy Scout camp. That's on the other side. Ah. Those are rentable cabins way back in the day. When the local fire department's going to come in and train some guys on them. This is a tributary. So this is where all three creeks come together. I think you said you would walk down here. Not yet. This is where oh, I was okay. heading when you, you um, told me you would take us down. When you this were actually coming. This is where we're going to be putting the bridge across. Right here. Bridge? Yeah. We have 160 acres on the other side. And we have no access to it without a bridge. We'll putting a bridge in. Yeah. So right now you've got to go out on about a mile and a half of county road to get to the other side. So yeah, Boydson's on the right, Kroger's on the left, and that's Flat Rock. Oh, they're getting, they're getting kind of ridiculous. I really enjoyed them until a couple of weeks ago, and then they start squawking all day long. They will. My mom used to have them. She said they were better than watchdogs. You knew when somebody was coming. We own to the top of that hill. That's a mountainside right there. But we only own it's, it's really steep. The only thing we're going to be able to put over there is going to be a walking pass. And then this is Baptism Falls, I mean, excuse me, Apostle Falls, right up here. When this is running, boy, you should see that water come. That's all right, white water, right down this whole thing. Hmm. But because it's low today, I can show you guys something that not too many people get to see. How do I get stuck in mud? No, nope, we're good. I got a winch on here. I've only been stuck twice, both times I was by myself. Oh, there's the call to Murphy.
ten. What's the call? What? New phone. Ah. Scout camp right there. That was the second building. That was the local blacksmith. He was here in the 1920s and 30s. Lived here with four kids in that building. Huh. And this was the Boy Scout camp when the Boy Scouts bought this. And then they sold it to a horse ranch, like a dude ranch, and then which became kind of a boys and girls club here. NRA used to train out here with archery and guns. It was sold in 1969 or 70 to the, um, the people that turned it into a campground. Wow. Slender lots right down to the creek. So this is the top of Apostle Falls. We just were over there and we had to go up and around to get here. Right. But you can see I'm clearing out right here. Slowly clearing it out so you can walk right alongside the Apostle Falls. And typically the water's up in here. Just to tell yeah. you how low it is right now. Super Usually nice. this, this a lot of this rock is underwater. This is the only thing we renamed. This was called Green Rocks. This was Sage's favorite place. And there's a natural pool right in the bottom. About 20 people can sit in and go in. Really beautiful natural pool. And when it's running, what's that? Where's the Not drop? yet. That's going to be above that Tizzle Pond. But right here's call this Sage Rocks now.
that way to the property line. This is where we start the creek cross. I don't know if you guys watched it through the creek. Yeah, we can follow. I was going to say. We so jumped in right here. We walked 1.1 miles all the way down to that place I showed you next to the tributary. And this is a beautiful, beautiful walk down there. There's a few places, big holes that are three or four feet deep, but... No alligators? No alligators, but there are snakes. Mm. Yep. No water moccasins also. I haven't seen one yet. I haven't that, seen that don't one. mean they ain't here. No, they're here. <laughs> well, they're around. The locals tell us they're here. Say it. They 
and messy and I'm so oh my god those are stairs so came down here cleaned it all up went down to the library to figure out what the heck they were doing here in the early 1900s they would baptize mm -hmm. that right there was a higher retain uh, dam and the water used to come up to about this level right here you can see how they try to fix it in the 70s and the 80s mm -hmm. with all that concrete mm -hmm.
that without four wheel drive. Mm -hmm. Yay! <laughs> How long y'all here for? A month. A month. <laughs> A month? I'll get to you. Right. <laughs> well, he's warning you now. <laughs> That's a pump house. That's pump house. And this isn't her bathrooms in there. That takes the septic from the lower campground and pumps it up top so that it doesn't go in the creek. Yeah, my old Palomino. Yeah, I love it. Oh, we love it. 